but one change has already been decided, and chances are you didn't even know about it. As I team reporter Katie Legron found out, its impact is now fueling questions and concerns. Now considered the most popular school choice option for parents, charter schools have exploded in Florida, with the number of campuses up 5% in the last five years, and student enrollment in charters increasing by more than 20% in the same time frame. Now a quietly signed new state law is expected to put that growth on an even faster track in the Sunshine State. That's because the law expands charter school approval powers, not just to local school boards, but to a new statewide commission. Just another avenue for reviewing and approving charter school applications. But critics call it a push by the state's Republican-led leadership to further privatize education. They want to operate like a kingdom with a king. Senator Janet Cruz, as a Democrat from Tampa, believes the law will make it easier for questionable charter schools to get the green light to open here. Though charter schools are public schools publicly funded, they are privately managed. This doesn't have anything to do with educating our children. This has everything to do with profiting off of our taxpayer dollars. What is the reason then for this? This past legislative session, Cruz questioned the need for the new law since charter schools denied by local school districts can already appeal to the state. And data shows neither denials or appeals happen very often. Last year, 65% of charter school applications were approved by school districts in the state. And of the ones that weren't, the majority withdrew their applications. And since 2019, just three denials have landed in appeal, with the state overturning two of those three. You're providing more public school options for families. Todd Zebarth is with the National Charter School Alliance and admits for some charter school companies, this new state approval path will be more attractive. If you're a charter school applicant in a district, again, that's been relatively hostile, you'll probably want to look at the state option. Such was the case in Hillsborough County last year when the school board, against its own district advice, denied the renewals of four charter schools. I do not understand why some grown-ups are trying to close my school. The rare denials got the state's then education boss involved, who threatened to withhold state funding. The board quickly reversed course. The new seven-member charter school review commission hasn't been created yet and won't be until lawmakers fund it. How long that will take is anyone's guess. But the same Republican lawmaker who pushed for this new law giving the state charter school approval power. It is not taking away the powers or uh, responsibility of the board. Was recently appointed Florida's new education boss, now holding all the state's public education power. I'm my team investigator Katie Legrone taking action for you.